some of you are still having problem with proportion question and uh, specifically these questions one of you asked for a video okay it's from your i think quiz or re-quiz one of them huh? okay now when you do proportion questions and you have a whole uh, story given to you you have to be very careful uh, to underline the key words there that will help you to solve the question okay because some of you are rather careless uh, take a look at uh, the force of attraction f newtons so the unit for f is newtons okay the force between two objects in outer space is inversely proportional to the square of its distance d in kilometers between the center of the two objects now it's quite a long uh, sentence but the key thing you need to know is that f is inversely proportional to the square of d okay so it's not just f equals to k over d many of you made this mistake in the uh, quiz okay it's the square of d meaning you need to put d here and of course because it's inverse proportion uh, d square needs to be in the denominator Alright, so this is how you start off doing the question. You write f equals to k over d squared. Very important, square of d. Uh, so you underline the keywords tomorrow. And uh, between the two, okay, all these are not important. Uh, but this is important. When f equals 20, okay, so you put 20. This is a clue given to you by the question to help you to find k. Okay, put this here. Substitute this here and you will be able to find your k okay now again uh, some of you are having problems manipulating this you want to find k so you don't want 18 square to be at the denominator right so what you can do is you multiply by 18 square here multiply by 18 square here whatever you do on the right must do on the left this will cancel this out then you get k right so your k will be equals to 18 square times 20 18 square times 20 that will be 6480 6480 okay now do not write 6480 here no it's not uh, they want that equation connecting f and d so this is what they want okay but another common mistake some of you make is you you simply write this Again, this is wrong because you did not tell the examiner what the value of k is, so they won't give you the full marks. So you need to write down the value of k. Okay, tomorrow under exam condition you may forget, so remind yourself three times now. The k value must be here. Then you get that one mark. Huh? <laughs> uh, it'll be more marks in the exam tomorrow, so don't worry. Uh, calculate the distance between the two this the two objects when the force is 80 okay so key thing is this is your f they want the d okay not the d squared they want the d but no matter what it is use this use this formula f equals to 6480 over d squared right uh, use this 18 6480 and then d squared and uh, multiply by d square here, multiply by d square here, the d square here will disappear. So you get 80 d square. Okay, the one the 80 here, so you divide by 80, divide by 80, the d square here will be gone. Uh, 6480 divided by 80 will be 81. Okay, so your d square equals to 81. Now, when you, you yourself square root both sides, you must always put plus and minus, okay? We, uh, we know that the distance must be positive, but you still need to show this working to tell the examiner you know that there are two possible answers, but you reject the negative one in this case because distance is positive, alright? If you don't write this value, we will minus one. Okay, next. Now, they want the percentage decrease okay they really tell you it's decrease uh, in the force between the two objects when the distance between the two is increased 
by. Okay, so increase by means the D new. Okay, originally was hundred percent, right? D I mean the D originally was hundred percent. Now it's increased by five hundred percent. So you have six hundred percent of your O one. So it's six times of the O one. Okay. Uh, so what you can do now is if you want you can write this the O is this. Okay, in this question, uh, the value of k is not that important. Okay, so I don't really need to put the value of k here. Oi. Okay, so this f new uh, is k over d new. Very importantly, please bracket the whole thing here. Meaning to say that if you have d square here, you must bracket this whole d mu square. Okay? If you have d cube, then you put whole thing cube. d square root, then of course you square root the whole thing. Eh? Okay, so that's very important because if you don't do that, you will tend to make mistake. Now, k is just k, we don't care what it is. Um, the new d is 6d, right? Yeah, so why do I ask you to put the bracket? Because if you don't put the bracket, you may make the mistake of thinking that it's just k over 6d squared. When it's actually 6 over, oh sorry, k over whole thing 6d squared. So your result will be k over, if you don't know, you press calculator, 36d squared. Okay, so that's how important these brackets are. Please put your brackets tomorrow. Okay. Now, the other thing that you need to know is there is a number in front of K. It's not zero in front of K, no. It's a one in front of the K. And 36 is not at the numerator. It's at the denominator. Meaning to say that it is 1 over 36 times K over D squared. Uh, why do I separate these two? Because I know that k over d square is my OF. Okay? So I want to find the relationship between the F mu, the new F and the OF, right? So now I found it to be 1 out of 36. The new one uh, is 1 out of 36 of the O1. So the new F is smaller than the O1. You see the O1 is one whole one whole of the kd square the new one is one out of 36 of the so it's less than one right so it's smaller that's why it's a percentage decrease okay now after you have found this um, what you can do is you take one whole because that's the original right one whole minus away one out of 36 of f okay by going to write all the f f f all that i don't need because they will cancel each other out anyway. Okay, press calculator. 1, one minus 1 over 36. Then it times 100%. You get 97 2 over 9. Ah, so that's how you get the answer. Okay? Okay, so uh, this kind of questions you need to know. Um, if I say increase to 500%, increase to 500%, then this will be 5D. Okay, but if I say increase by 500%, then originally it is 100%. This is the old value, right? You increase by 500% by the old value is still here. So increase by 500%, which means the total is 6 times of the original. Okay? Uh, so that's why it's 60. But if it's increased to increase to 500%, okay, this word here is 2, uh, increase to 500%, that means originally is 100%. 
increase to 500%. Meaning if this is D, this must be 5D. Okay, so you need to know the difference between uh, increase by, which is 6D, and increase to, increase to, uh, which is uh, 5D. Alright? Okay, now for the last part, uh, okay, the last part is a bit tricky. Uh, you are asked to find uh, the labels, okay, what to put here. Is it F la, or D la, or whatever? Okay, now you notice that this question is an inverse proportion question, okay? So by right, for an inverse proportion question, when I plot F, okay, against the second one, uh, D square, right? It should give me a curve like this. Uh, it doesn't touch the x axis, it doesn't touch the y axis, it's, it's a curve like this. Uh. But uh, they actually draw a straight line here instead. Why is that so? Okay, this straight line actually means direct proportion. Okay, if you remember, uh, this means direct proportion. So, what should I label here? Can I label it to be F and D square? F and D square, I can't, okay, because these two are in inverse proportion. Inverse proportion by right should be a curve like that. Okay, so how do you make it become a direct proportion? Very simple. All you need to do is don't do anything here. This first one don't do anything. You flip this from the numerator right by right is in the numerator you see by right is in the numerator i flip it over oh then automatically it has changed to direct proportion really. okay it's just that simple and in this question you need to put the uh, units newton and one over kilometer square because it's one over distance square one over kilometer square that's all all right thank you